few leaders in recent global history have risen from obscurity as rapidly as Joko Widodo, the governor of Jakarta. Two and a half years ago, the former furniture maker was the little-known mayor of his hometown, Solo, in central Java. Now, Widodo is the frontrunner in a head-to-head -head battle to become president of Indonesia, taking on former general Prabowo Subianto. With Indonesian politics dominated by tycoons, dynasties and kleptocrats, Widodo's down-to-earth style has made him the nation's most popular politician. This is where Widodo first made a name for himself, not as a politician, but as a furniture maker, exporting his wares to Asia, Europe and the US. The question now for Indonesians and foreign investors is whether he can apply the lessons he learned here and use them to fix Indonesia's troubled economy. Widodo says that his experience running a furniture factory shaped his pragmatic approach to politics. He passed control of the business to his brother-in-law when he was elected as mayor of Solo in 2005. At that time, this city of 500,000 people was blighted by poverty, chaotic streets and an inefficient bureaucracy. Widodo set about tackling these problems from the ground up. He moved riverside slum dwellers to new villages like this one. Although they suffered from crime, floods and no clean water, many were still reluctant to leave the place where they had lived for decades. Widodo, who is known by his nickname Jokowi, visited dozens of times to persuade them to relocate with financial support from the city. We Dodo took a similar approach with the street walkers who were clogging up solo. Motorbike parts trader Udin was initially unwilling to move from his lucrative roadside perch in the city centre. But his sales have increased sharply since he took up Widodo's offer to shift to a new purpose-built market on the edge of town. Untuk Pak Jokowi, untuk kepemimpinan sangat bagus. Dia berani berani mendengarkan langsung keluhan dari pedagang. Untuk dari track record menjadi wali kota sama Gubernur Jakarta kembali, saya yakin Pak Jokowi bakal bagus jadi presiden. Widodo's reforms weren't limited to those at the bottom of the pile. He also simplified business permitting procedures and sidelined incompetent local officials, boosting investment and helping put Solo back on the tourist map. When he faced re-election in 2010, he won with 90% of the vote, a resounding victory that convinced him he was destined for greater things. Itu terbukti ketika dia memimpin di Solo, kemudian di Jakarta, dan sekarang kira-kira menuju Indonesia, saya yakin bahwa akan lebih sejahtera. As mayor, Widodo spruced up the streets of Solo and revitalized the local business sector. But this is, after all, just a slow-moving provincial city. Voters across this vast archipelago will now have to decide if Widodo has what it takes to scale up his achievements here and put the national economy back in the fast lane. Ben Bland, Financial Times, Solo.